Welcome to Edge Catalog Hive, Table and Storage Management Layer. My name is Firaz Abrash. This is presentation for CSCIE 63, Big Data Analytics for Spring 2015, Harvard Extension School. Let's start with Hive. What is Hive? Hive is a data warehouse system for large volume of data stored in Hadoop. Hive provides SQL-based query language that dramatically simplifies the process of querying data sets. When a query runs on Hive, Hive converts it into MapReduce plan, which is then submitted to the Hadoop cluster for execution. So Hive takes advantage of Hadoop, HDFS, and MapReduce jobs. So why use Hive? MapReduce is catered towards developer. Typically, scientists and data analysts knows how to write SQL very well, but they are not necessarily good at being Java developer or software developer. Hive stores data on Hadoop, use Hadoop HDFS, it runs MapReduce jobs, but you are able to write SQL queries at a higher level of abstraction. But since Hive is built on top of MapReduce, it's linearly scalable, fault tolerance, and robust. Hive support creating table, creating views, index. You can write select with where clauses, group by, order by, joins, user-defined aggregate functions. You can even write your own custom map and reduce scripts and write a high query and specify a map scripts and reduce scripts. But Hive does not support online transaction processing, which is meant for laten low latency. And you cannot accept, expect to insert or modify a record instantly. Hive is built for OLAP, online analytical processing, and it, it analyzes data in a bigger data chunks, so it's not good to run it on a small data. Edge Catalog. If you are writing a MapReduce jobs and you don't want to write code every time to take the data and figure out where its location, if it's a serialized data, what's the schema, what's the data type, Edge Catalog is a layer that, that enables users with a different data processing tools like PIG, MapReduce, Hive to more easily read and write data. Edge Catalog Table Abstraction presents users with a relational view of data in the Hadoop Distributed File System, HDFS and ensures that users need not to worry about where or in what format their data is stored. Edge Catalog display data from any text format, sequence files, tabular views, and it also provides REST APIs so that external system can access the state table metadata. This is a snapshot of Edge Catalog API, Java API, from Apache. And now I will present a demo on how Edge Catalog and Hive process data and run, run it. To get started, Open AWS Management Console and go to EMR, Elastic MapReduce, create a new cluster. You can name the cluster name. Uh, I'm interested in Hive and Hue. Now on the hardware configuration, I can select Master, Core, and Task. So I'm going to have one master, two core. I will select my key pair. A 
everything stays the same and create cluster. After a few, few minutes, the cluster is running. I have two cores running, one master is running. The address for the, DNA, the public DNS master is... And now I need to set up an SSH tunnel using a dynamic port forwarding. So, body configuration, I will have Hadoop at master public DNS. And then on the SSH, for the authentication, I can uh, specify the key value. And on tunnels, I will select remote. And I will add the port 8157. Click OK. Now I'm connected to the Hadoop cluster. In order to uh, access the web interface, I will need to set up a proxy on my browser. So I'm going to use my Firefox and I can, I need to download Foxy proxy standard and then on the option I would select and hit OK. Now I can put in the address for the master with the port number 8888. Now I'm prompted to create a new account. I'm going to call it Hadoop. So now I'm on the interface, web interface for uh, the master cluster. This is where I can run query, query editor, Hive, or NPIG. So if I go to Hive, my database is still empty now. I will be using set of data by Twitter. So let's... So this is the Twitter 2010 data sets. I will copy link location, Hadoop cluster, so wget and then the HTTP link. It's 66 megabyte of, uh, of a file. So now I have it on the file system. I need to unzip this file. So now I have the .csv file on the file system. So let's put the file into Hadoop. I can check that. So it's there. I can also on the interface, on the web interface, click on Manage HDFS in S3. And this is the CSV file that I have uplo uploaded. It's 472 megabyte after it was unzipped. I need to import this data, this file, into a data. So this is where the H catalog comes in to play. I can create a new table from a file. I can name it TWTDB. On the input file, I can select the location. So this is the file that I have uploaded into the SGFS. It's over here. You can import the data. Next. So now it's listing the CSV file into a table. This is the preview. And you can select the delimiter as a comma, space, or anything else. So this looks good. Next. Edge catalog recognizes the column names, 
the column type. So this is where Edge Catalog Power comes in, that I don't need to know the schema, I don't need to know the data uh, type. Now I can create the table. So the table now is being created. I can, uh, this is the sample. This is how the data looks like in the table. Properties. After the data has been imported, I can use Hive, uh, Pig, or any other tools on uh, Hadoop. I'm going to use Hive. Now I can see the new data that I have created. Now I can write a query against the table. I'm going to get the highest top five users with the highest tweets. If I click on explain, so this is how the stage is going to be, there's going to be a stage one, stage two, stage one. We'll have a map and reduce, and the map we're going to be, uh, we'll have to have to handle the aggregation. And stage two, we have map and reduce. This is going to be for the sorting. I'm going to run. So now we have a map and reduce for stage one, which is the aggregate function, the group by, the count and the group by. Stage one map reduce map is 100% reduce is 0%. Moving on to stage two. So here's the, the here's the top five uh, users with the highest tweets. The results I can uh, download into HDFS or I can download it into a CSV format. So coming back to uh, Edge Catalog, uh, we have uh, after we have imported the the, the table and it, the Edge Catalog has the ability to uh, to have the Metastore meta Manager. I can also use PIG if I want to. I can write scripts against the table that I have imported. I need to invoke the Edge Catalog and load the data. So I just need to write the table here, which is and then write my, my script in big. So that's it for the demo. Thank you.